Hello, and welcome to the Mass DOI tutorial. This video will briefly go over DOIs and their importance, as well as how you can create them using the Mass portal. Please note that this video is broken up into chapters so that you can more easily find the content that you're looking for. To begin with, what are DOIs and why are they important? DOIs, or Digital Object Identifiers, provide unique, permanent links to online resources. In a research context, DOIs make it possible to offer readers a durable link to the exact data that were analyzed in a published paper. DOIs support reproducibility and research and are a form of acknowledgement to the observatory where the data originated. For some large data sets, the MAST archive offers pre-made DOIs, which are available on this webpage. In most cases, though, you'll need to create your own custom DOI to match the data in your paper. If that includes data from the JWST mission, you will receive a request to create a DOI. If you are a grant recipient, it is mandatory to make one. Let's take a look at how to do that by clicking on the link to the DOI portal. The first thing to do after opening up the DOI portal is to make sure that you're logged in to your authorized Space Telescope user account. If you're not logged in, you won't be able to create any DOIs. Now, we have a couple options for how we can look for observations to create these DOIs. In fact, there are three. We have program IDs, object name, and position, as well as using the observation ID to find our targets. We can also use show my DOIs to see any DOIs that we've created before. Let's start using program IDs. So in this case, we're just looking for observations from one program ID, which is 1259. So let's search. We actually get two sets of results here. Some of them are from the Hubble Space Telescope and some of them are from the James Webb Space Telescope. In this case, we were looking for the data from the James Webb Space Telescope. So let's go ahead and select all three of those observations. Now we can add them to our DOI basket. If this is all that we needed, we can open the basket up, select all of the observations, and then we can use this Create DOI button right here to make our DOI. It might take a minute before the DOI metadata field pops up. Once it does, you should add a dataset title, which generally follows the format data from, and then your paper's name. And you can also add additional collaborators. And if you'd like, you can enter a description of the data. This description could include some of the abstract of your paper, your method of data analysis, or any information that you think a viewer would find useful. Since using DOIs to link to data is still a relatively new practice, it's not a bad idea to be as descriptive as possible. Once all of these fields have been filled out, you can click Create DOI, and your DOI will be created. Now let's say there was some more data that we wanted to add. So let's return to our portal and clear the search. Now let's query by object name or position. And in this case, let's say that we wanted to look at Messier 104. For this search, we're also interested in filtering by mission, as well as instrument. Once we've filtered our search down, we can select our desired observations. And add those to the portal the same way we did before, using the Add to DOI Basket button. You'll notice that My DOI Basket has now gone up to six observations, which includes the three observations from our previous search and the three observations from this search. Now, let's open the drop-down menu and this time search by observation ID. This is useful when you already know the exact observation that you're looking for. From here, as before, we can select individual observations, or if we want, we can select all of them, and we can add these to our DOI basket as well. And now our basket has all nine of the observations. Since it can be a little slow to search by individual observation ID, 
we can instead use the Upload Observation ID List tool to upload a whole list of observation IDs all at once. So if we click here, and then we click Browse, then we can upload our sample list of observation IDs. And upload once again, we'll submit our target list to the portal. And this will return a list of all of the observations that have matching observation IDs. So let's select all of them and add them to our DOI basket. And as before, once we're ready to actually make this into a DOI, we can click on my DOI basket. We can select all of them or individually select the ones that we want. And we can select create DOI. Once again, we can put in some information here. And we can click Create DOI. And this is an example of what the DOI will look like. So here's the DOI itself. Here's the data set title. And we can get a little preview of what the DOI will look like by clicking here. So as we can see, this DOI includes information about who created it, about when it was created, and all of our metadata information from before. And while we're here, we might as well take a peek at what the data looks like when we click on the link to it. So, as you can see, all 15 observations that we picked out are available and easily accessible for anyone who might be interested in the data contained within the paper. We hope that this tutorial has been helpful to you, and if you have any additional questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email at the MAST Archive Help Desk, which is available in the description.